Just after Valentine's Day, a motorcycle ride almost turned deadly for competitive dancer and gymnastics instructor 23-year-old Courtney Jones. We crossed the double yellow, hit an oncoming SUV. Motorcycle versus car. She was hit by a car and came in with severe injuries, almost dead. They did not give up. There was always another team, another specialist. We used basically everything in our hospital take care of her. All the specialties including the neurosurgeons, the orthopedic surgeons, the trauma surgeons, the resuscitation in here, the blood bank, tons of blood, uh, interventional radiology was involved three, one, two, three. in our ICUs and all of this happened within a couple of hours after her getting here. Courtney is one of more than a thousand patients treated at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Level 1 Trauma Center every year. With a catchment area spanning some 336 square miles, primarily in West Los Angeles, it serves one of the most diverse and densely populated areas in the country, reaching south of LAX, north to Malibu and the Ventura County line. Traumatic experiences are not something that people like to think about, and we push them to the back of our minds, but they do happen, and when they do happen, we're here, and it's our privilege and honor to care for you. 23-year-old Gabriel Silva was critically injured in an accident two years ago on the 405. Okay. Pretty much broke all the ribs on my left side. Fractured my neck, fractured my, my lower spine. I lost my spleen. Uh, all right, are you in any pain? Lost my left kidney, punctured my left lung. Thinking of the stuff they did at UCLA where they had to act quickly, like, okay, this guy's about to die. It's amazing. They work on people to save their lives, and it's incredible the stuff they do. We're ready for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Not only are we ready for you, but everyone is ready for you. Going to UCLA, I feel like if I would have gone to any other hospital, I, they wouldn't have had the resources they needed to save my life. The doctors, the, the medicine, the technology, the devices, whatever they needed, everything, they had it there. They saved my life. Against all odds, UCLA's Level 1 trauma team also worked to save the life of 18-year-old Devin Megan, a thoughtful, disciplined teenager with a black belt in Taekwondo. He had volunteered at UCLA. Devin suffered unimaginable injuries in a car crash two years ago. Devin's father is an orthopedic surgeon at another L.A. hospital. The uh, policemen who were at the scene immediately, they were um, taping as if it was a uh, death scene because they, they never thought anybody would survive this accident. It's basically unreal. I was in denial. I was uh, trying to just survive. Unfortunately, I've seen the worst, so I'm expecting the worst. And my worst fears had uh, been realized. Devin required emergency brain surgery and the relentless efforts of the entire UCLA trauma team staff. The nurses are amazing. They're true angels, are in the UCLA trauma department. So caring, so understanding of our feelings as a family. To have that touch and that care from the nurses around the clock is really what heals these patients. Ronald Reagan UCLA's Level 1 Trauma Center provides comprehensive care for the most seriously injured adults and children. Let's go to uh, UCLA Medical Center right now. But it is also a beacon for communities in trouble beyond its borders. Where there was a Metrolink commuter train that collided head on with a freight train yesterday during the height of Russia. What happens in our trauma system if there is a disaster or a multi-casualty event, and the one that comes immediately to mind is the Metrolink train crash where there's a hundred people that are hurt. Those catchment areas break down and, we, and our trauma system is designed to be able to distribute patients to all of the trauma centers in the Los Angeles trauma system. A lot of crush injuries, a lot of orthopedic injuries. We received about eight to 10 uh, very critically injured patients by helicopter from the scene all at one time. We just are ready. We have to stay ready. We saved almost every person that was injured that got to a trauma center. Lives pulled from the brink time after time by the Ronald Reagan UCLA Level 1 Trauma Team. Another chance for Courtney, Devin, and Gabriel.
They really did everything in their power to do what they can. I mean, they're amazing doing their best. I mean, it's what they love to do is to help people in need. I needed them. She is my personal strength and I need her in my life. She will keep going. She's going to make changes and she will bring hope to many others that are going through traumas like she did. It was sort of nip and tuck for a good bit of that time and then there was times when we really thought we were going to lose her. But her courage uh, and, uh, and just the hard work of a lot of people and the dedication of a place like this brought her through, that and her family. She's lost some limbs, uh, and she's, uh, but she's gone through a lot and she's been just a, a hero for us. And we're so proud of her. UCLA has an incredible, incredible trauma team. This place is where I was saved. Just thank you. We owe his life to UCLA Medical Center. I've been in school for a little over a year now and everything's going great. I'm a math tutor and um, I'm taking classes I never would have thought I would take ever. Calculus, physics. I feel everyone deserves a second chance. I just want to make sure my son has someone to look up to when he gets older. They do the best for him. And I say thank you, thank you very much for saving the life of my son. I'm happy uh, to be alive.